And we, yet freedom was losing. We were losing our liberty. We were losing. He, he said that, Reagan said that um, detente, detente. Isn't that what a farmer does with his turkey all year long until Thanksgiving Day? What do we say to our brothers and sisters now caught behind their iron curtain? Give up your dreams of freedom now, because in order to save our own skins, we're just too willing to make a deal with your slave masters? Do you and I have the courage to say there is a price we will not pay? There is a point beyond which evil must not advance. He would go on to say that evil is powerless if the good are unafraid. Well, you and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth. But we'll sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. We're at war with the most dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in his long climb from the swamp to the stars. And it's been said if we lose this war, and in so doing lose this great way of freedom of ours, history will record with the greatest astonishment that those that had the most to lose did the least to prevent it from happening. Well, I think it's high time now that we ask ourselves if we still even know the freedoms that were intended for us by our founding fathers. Every generation of Americans needs to know that freedom exists, not to do what you like, but having the right to do what you ought. And that is the freedom that I wish for you. Set yourselves apart from this corrupt generation. Be sane.